Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna to take a look at active menu links in Laravel and how to do them. So right now, for example, if you look, we are on the home page, I guess. If we click on these sidebars on the left, we don't really know which page we are on. At the top, we have our login page, which it seems like it is active. If you guys can see, it's a bit whiter. If I go on the register page, we don't really have any indicators to tell the user, hey, you are on this specific page, right? So we basically, uh, today we're gonna go ahead and add some CSS to these when we are at any specific page, right? So let's go ahead and do that. Now I'm gonna start off by actually doing that on our homepage. And right now I believe we have the difference between the active and non-active is the active ones have like text dark, which honestly I can't tell the difference to be honest on my monitor. So I'm gonna go ahead and change that up. But let's start off by first, how can we actually check a link is active? So you can go ahead and open up the blade kind of echo code here and then we can use there is a facade or a helper called route and then it has a static method called is and you can use this to check if the user is on or the current url is any of your routes okay now this works with route names so uh, you need to make sure you have a route name on all of your routes but this what this allows you to do is basically can say route is dashboard for example so we have a route named dashboard here as you can see so i can check if we are on that route and you can do basically like an inline uh, if statement if that is the case do this if not else do the following and in this case what i'm going to do is uh, if we are on the page i guess i'm going to make the text white give it a background and then maybe make it rounded I'm not sure if this is going to look good or not but let's just take a look and also I'm going to give it the route itself actually, because right now it doesn't have it. Okay. Let's go ahead. Let's reload and see if this works. And this does not look good. I might have primary. Yeah, I made a typo. Let's do reload. And it, it looks okay. It kind of lets us know that we are on the home page. And if I go ahead and I visit another page, maybe a view post page, it goes back to normal, which is nice. Now, we don't really have any other page except for the terms page. So I'm kind of going to go ahead and remove these for now. Uh, you can add any other pages if you like, guys. But for now, I'm going to go remove all these extra ones because we don't really have them. So I'm going to remove all of these. We don't even have a settings page. We do have a profile page. So for the profile, I'm going to basically give it the route uh, profile. And that should get the job done. Perfect. It does look very ugly right now. So let's also add the terms page, actually. So it's not too empty terms and then here i'm going to go ahead we don't actually have a route name for our terms page so i need to give it a name of terms now if you don't like to use ter names so let's say for some reason you don't have a name on your one of your route there is another alternative way you could also use the request helper and say request is there's also a request facade which works with static methods so you could technically also i think do this so there are multiple ways of doing things in Laravel. It's kind of up to you which one you want to use. And then here you can say uh, terms, okay? Now here you're actually giving the actual URL path. So if you had, for example, I don't know, user's uh, profile, you have to give it the URL itself, okay? So, so I'm just going to say terms. And I believe we did not make any mistakes anywhere. So let's go ahead and test this out, see if it works or not. It is saying re request is not found. I made a typo, request. Okay, and the link itself is going to the terms. So let's go make this terms. We can't actually do that, so I have to do URL. And, oh, okay, so it looks like we don't have the sidebar on the terms page. We could actually easily add that. Should be super simple. So let's go find the page. Uh, this is the page. So what we could do is copy our dashboard page and add Basically for the dashboard page, we have a row here. This is where the content is supposed to be. So I'm gonna add the row above it. And then we need a div of call six. And I'm gonna wrap the contact us information inside it. And then we need another div for the right sidebar. And I'm just gonna copy what we have here plus the div ending. So you should have something like this, okay? With your contact us information inside this div call six in the middle. 
and now our terms page should have basically the sidebar as well and as you can see guys the terms page uh, turned active it's an active menu so we can go to home page and this looks nice and if i go to for example view idea page none of them are active so that's very nice the next thing we need to do is so that's if you want to for example use the url now in this case i personally prefer to use route names because it happens quite often on projects you may want to change this terms okay someone on your on your team or your boss asks you to make this like terms and conditions or you know change it to privacy let's change the url name and this if you use the absolute name or the way i showed you guys you're kind of forced to go ahead and change your sidebar as well which you may forget to do so i personally always use route names because it makes it uh, it's a bit more reliable okay so if you have any changes in the future so i'm going to go ahead and give it a name of uh, terms and it has happened to me multiple times where i have to change the route url so i always go ahead and use routes here and in terms of functionality it should still work exactly the same all right let's go ahead and do the exact same thing for the top nav bar for our login and register so i think that's the biggest i can make it so let's go ahead and find our i think header is it or is it inside the layout yeah so it's inside our layout nav and I believe we do have an auth.php, which is going to be our authentication route files. And we do have a name for the login and register. So I'm just going to go use those names. So this is our register page. I'm going to do the exact same logic we did before, guys. So I'm just going to do route is a register. If it is, uh, I suppose if it is active, what are we doing? If it's an active, yeah, we have an active so i'm just gonna say if it is give it the active class else uh, don't do anything and i'm gonna go ahead and copy this and we can kind of uh, repeat this multiple times make sure there is a space between your uh, if statement and then the next class so they don't uh, stick together i'm gonna do the exact same thing for login and i think i'm gonna go and do the same thing for the profile as well so when we are on the profile page uh, this also turns active and i believe that is it guys so let's go do a quick reload obviously both of these are kind of off now uh, if i go to login login becomes active register becomes active let's go ahead and log in to one of our users and also test the profile page and i'm going to click on my profile and as you can see it became active so looks pretty nice now if you guys would like you can go ahead and add more pages if you would like for now i'm going to keep it simple we just go with home and terms and that's it for today's episode guys so if you have any questions you can ask me in the comment section below now there are many other different ways of checking if the route is but personally i just use a route is or request is those are the most common ways i have done it but if you search on google there's like 50 different ways i don't know but that's the, more, the way i personally do it and it's very clean and neat so yeah that's it guys Hope you enjoyed this video. As always, don't forget to subscribe so you get notified of the latest Laravel and Liver videos. And I see you on the next episode. Have a great day. Bye.